people use metal marshmallow contact mics for all sorts of different things. Musicians use them on stage to isolate the sound of instruments. Practitioners of alternative medicine use them to listen to the sounds of the human body. Mechanical engineers use them to diagnose problems with their machinery. And it occurred to me that many of these things can be supported by software. So I started this new section on my website called Widgets, and these are supposed to be little utility programs that might assist with these various activities. So for example, here's an oscilloscope, and you can just use this to visualize the waveform that you're getting from the microphone. And this has a continuous scroll mode, and it also has a rising edge trigger, which allows you to kind of lock the waveform in place there. So this thing is super handy, it probably has a lot of uses, and some of these other widgets are things that I use in the factory to test the microphones as we're assembling them, and some of these I've shown in previous videos, and at some point I might make a heart rate monitor widget, I'd also like to make a convolution reverb widget, uh, if there's any interest in those things, please let me know. But the one that I want to talk today is this instrument tuner slash guitar tuner thing. And I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You don't necessarily need a contact mic for this, but it'll work a whole lot better better if you use one. And if you play a note on your guitar, this of course will just tell you what note it is and whether it's sharp or flat. This uses the Yin algorithm, which I think is the best algorithm for this. I saw some people online saying that this algorithm doesn't work that well, but I realized that's because there's this weird partial implementation of it that's floating around, and it seems like a lot of people are using that, and the reason it's not working so well is that some of the key parts of the algorithm have been left out. So I just re-implemented this from scratch. And so just to test how accurate it is, I'm going to play some sine waves directly into it. So I can use this thing called black hole to route audio directly into my software without using the microphone. And I'm going to use max MSP to generate sine waves. So I have audio output, and then this is a sine wave generator and I want to specify the frequency in MIDI note numbers. And I happen to know that note number 69 corresponds to note A4. So if I turn this on, my widget immediately identifies that that's A4. And if I bump this up by 10 cents, Again, my software says, okay, that's 10 cents sharp, so it's, it's bang on. And I can kind of go up in 10 cent increments all the way up to 49 cents sharp. And my software is still correct here. And then if I bump up to 50 cents sharp, my software says, okay, that's actually B flat, and it's 50 cents flat. So same thing, so that's still correct. And my software searches for notes up to about 3,000 hertz. So I can go up MIDI note number 100, that's correct, 101, 102, still bang on. And then once I get to 103, now my software is saying that that's 10 cents sharp, which is not, but that's above 3,000 hertz, that's why. But if I go back down to like note number 100, then I can still easily go up and down in 10 cent increments and my software is just bang on. And so I can kind of scroll down through the notes here and I see that my software is in the correct octave, six, five, four, three, two. And then my software goes as low as about 44 hertz, which is about MIDI note number 30. And so even here, I can go up and down in 10 cent increments, and my software is bang on. But I can't go any lower than that. So yeah, this 
algorithm is absolutely perfect, at least for these synthetic stimuli. And it's perfect enough, for example, that I can see that this guitar gets progressively sharper as I move higher and higher on the fretboard. I really did only pay $30 for this thing, by the way. That's not just clickbait. And if you have this kind of bridge on your guitar, you can actually adjust that. So this isn't quite perfect. I actually did this by ear back when I was in high school and haven't touched it since, but I should probably redo it with this tuner software now. And then just so you can see, this doesn't just work with guitar. In principle, it should work with any instrument. And just so you can see that wine glass I showed you at the beginning looks like it's just a little bit north of C6. Anyway, so yeah, that's a, an instrument tuner. I guess there's not a lot more to say about it. And I recognize that there are like a million guitar tuner apps out there. And really the real reason that I made this is because I feel like we've come to a point where anything that you have to download from the App Store is definitely a virus. And the internet has kind of become a wasteland of ads and pop-ups, and anybody who wants access to your microphone is definitely streaming the audio back to their server so that they can sell it to law enforcement or to ad agencies. And I really just wanted a kind of stress-free place where I can go and tune my guitar in peace and quiet without any of that bullshit. And just for the record, my instrument tuner isn't doing any of that stuff. I'm not tracking you. I'm not streaming your audio back to my server. None of that. No ads, no pop-ups. And the only way that I make any money off of this is through the sale of contact microphones. And so if anything, this is really just kind of a thank you gift for my customers. And if you're not a customer, but you think that this software is useful or helpful, maybe you could consider buying a microphone from me. That would be helpful. But yeah, anyway, I guess that's all I have to say about that for now. Consider liking and subscribing. By the way, speaking of ads, this channel is not monetized, neither is my other channel, but you need a thousand subscribers on YouTube to be able to turn off ads. So please, for the love of God, subscribe to me so I can reach a thousand subscribers so I can turn off ads. Anyway, I guess that's it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.